Hi, this is a video guide for online assessments. So if you are an Advetti student and you will be doing your exam online for English, maths or a vocational subject, then this guide will help you. To do the exam, you need to use a suitable device like a laptop or a tablet. You must not use a smartphone for assessments. The format of Blackboard that we use for the exams does not work very well on mobile phones for the exams. Make sure you use the correct internet browser and make sure it is updated. So if you have a laptop, a tablet by Samsung or someone, or an old MacBook, you should use Google Chrome. But if you have an iPad or one of the newer MacBooks, then you should use Safari. Some exams may need a headset, so connect and check your audio before the exam starts. If you check after the exam starts, there may be a problem and you will lose time in the exam. Here is a video of how to access and complete the exam on Blackboard. Okay, so log into Blackboard as normal. And when you are in your course, you will see different courses for different students. But one thing that shows an exam is when it says ASMT. This means assessment, which is another word for exam. Please check with your teacher which course you should be doing. So when you enter the exam course, this is what the page looks like. It's very similar to your normal class. Here we will have the name of the exam. So this exam is called the midterm, the middle of the term. For English, we have four exams in the one exam. So make sure you complete all the parts. You can also do the exam in any order. So you can do this one, number one, this one, second, this one, third, fourth, whichever way around you want to do it. When you are ready to do your exam, click on the exam. Here are the instructions. They're in English and they say this one has a time limit of one hour. So that's how much time you have to do the exam. It says that it will save and submit when the time is finished. And that once started, you should do in one sitting. This means you don't get to repeat the exam after you submit. The key word is submit. Once you finish the exam, you submit. So when you are ready to do your exam, click on begin. Begin means the same as start. If there is a password, you enter it here and submit to start the exam. Okay, and again, we have the instructions on the screen that tell us there's a time limit of one hour. It will give us a warning of five minutes, one minute and 30 seconds. So you can keep an eye, uh, a check on the time as it's going. It will tell you when it's coming to an end. Okay, so here are examples of the questions. You would choose multiple choice. I would click on this one. Now, our advice is to click save after each answer so that, it, so that you know it's logged in. The reason to do this is because if the computer fails or your internet stops or something happens, then the answer saves so you can come back into the exam and do it. When you get to some questions, you might need to type the answer and you can use your keyboard or if you prefer you can copy from the text don't forget when you finish you can save all answers and when you're ready to submit this is the end of the exam so only do this when you are ready to finish the exam so we have save all answers here but save and submit. Submit means finish. I give you the exam. Okay, so make sure you are ready to finish when you click this. And that's it. It says my exam is finished and it's gone through. So please remember online exams have a time limit and the exam will close when the time finishes. Remember to save all of your answers during the exam 
in case there is a technical failure. Submit your exam at the end of the exam only. Do not submit if you have not finished. There is a warning to check if you are ready to submit and that's it. The exam is closed after you submit it. So be very careful with submitting the exam. Academic honesty. This is very important. Adveti has a clear policy on academic honesty. You cannot cheat in any of the exams. There are some examples of cheating. Using notes or the internet to help you with your exam. Producing work that is not from you. So if you copy from the internet another student or someone else, this is not allowed. Submitting work which is not referenced. So for a project, if you don't say where you got the words from. Don't follow the assessment instructions. If you pretend to be another student and if you help another student to submit the assessment. You can help with technical problems, but not with the content of the exam. And please take this very seriously. Any cheating will be investigated by a campus committee, and the only actions are to fail the course, to fail all the courses, or to be dismissed from Adveti. There is no less than this. I cannot just let you repeat the exam. If you have technical issues, contact your teacher immediately. This is because there is a time with your exam, so make sure they know as soon as possible. Take any photos or videos of the problem so that you can show what the problem is. And if you don't get any help, you can contact Student Services or the helpline for the campus for more support. And here are the phone numbers on the screen. And finally, good luck with your exams. I hope they go well.